Hi folks, I'm B. Pagels Miner. I'm a product and culture strategist supporting Fortune 100 companies, startups, and everyone in between. I'm also co-host of the podcast, The Drops Podcast, activist, and true tried southerner. Welcome to my page. You know, it's so interesting when you think about someone's journey. So first of all, I cannot tell you enough how the expression is, you know, you don't know what someone's been through or you don't know what someone's going through until you've walked in their shoes. I think it's an amazing expression and it's absolutely true. So for instance, myself, you know, a lot of people look at me now, they look at me as someone who has worked at some of these large, amazing corporations, someone who's a, a great speaker, someone who's won awards, and they assume I've essentially always had this. Like I've always had a great job. I've always had a great income. I've always known that I would be successful. And the reality is, it is a complete surprise. Like I honestly, if, I, if you had asked me as, an elementary school person or a teenager or a college student, if I thought that I would be here, I would tell you no. In fact, all I really wanted was to like, actually when I was in high school, I wanted to go into the military. I really wanted to go to the Navy. And I wanted to be an intelligence officer. But guess what? You can't be an intelligence officer. You can't go in the Navy if you have a disease like thyroid disease, which is what I have, right? And so if you, I have to take a medication every single solitary day or else I could become very ill, right? And so I couldn't go to the military. So then I decided, well, I really do have to go to college. What the heck am I gonna do? And so I ended up applying to Duke University. And the reality is, is I ended up getting very sick and having an injury, and so I had to leave Duke. And so I was like, oh, there's another, this is another situation where it didn't work out. And even before that, like something I don't often talk about, but something I've been, I've, it's, I've really started to think about as I've personally gone through therapy. When I was in high school, I was a teenager. I was I was 16 years old and I was arrested and falsely accused of a crime I did not commit. And I almost went to jail as an adult, as a 16 year old, right? And so like my life has been this very interesting, complex thing. And even starting off before that, you know, being from a family from Mississippi, from a working class family that was very blue collar, that, you know, most of my mom's family, they didn't even go to college. And so when I, this smart kid was like, I'm gonna go to college and I'm gonna go to Duke University, literally everyone came around me and was just like, we're so proud of you. And then I, it didn't work out, right? And somehow I was able to pick myself up though and take that like another one of these big setbacks, another one of these scary moments and say, well, let me think about what I actually want to do or how I think I can actually get to where I want to be. And that changing of my thought process is probably why I'm the person that you see today. Because what happened is, is I started looking at all the colleges in the country that were pretty good colleges and started thinking about where are these colleges versus a good city so I could actually get a job while I was going to school so I could get the skills that I needed to actually get a job after I graduated. So that's how I ended up in Northwestern University. If I had not ended up in Northwestern University, I might not be here today because then I got diagnosed with thyroid cancer as a junior in college. And I was so fortunate because I didn't have insurance. This is before it was normal for you know kids to have insurance until they were 26. And so my university helped me get insurance and then also transported me to the doctor to make sure I got treatment. And then they hooked me up with Howard Brown Health um, and, and the Lesbian Community care project which then started bringing me care packages because I was too literally too sick to go to the grocery store or do all these different things for myself but and it's really fascinating because then I became an intern for Howard Brown Health and actually I'm on the board of directors for Howard Brown Health too and I always joke that you know one of the reasons that I'm so great professionally is because the folks at Howard Brown Health really spent a lot of time you know putting so much effort and energy in helping me be great, including helping me connect with great business leaders who started coaching me on what it looked like to be a great business person, a great strategic leader, a great speaker. In fact, one of those people is one of the reasons I became a public speaker, right? I was just like, well, if you think I'm pretty good at this and I actually have some stuff to say, why shouldn't I do it? And becoming a public speaker is probably why my career started going up in this, this upper trajectory. I would speak at a place talking about product management and product, product strategy, and that person would then say, do you want to come over and consult with my company, or would you consider working at my company? And in fact, I was speaking at Lesbians Who Tech in 2018 when a recruiter from Apple saw me and was so impressed with my talk, they suggested that I work at Apple. And then that is what how I ended up getting recruited to Apple and moving to California from Chicago. And so, you you know, from there, you know, my career just took off, you know, working at Apple and working at Netflix and then taking the time off and really starting to think about what I wanted to do for a long time. It really just became clear my entire life, my entire career 
I thrive on teaching people, on helping people, on allowing people to be the best versions of themselves. I say that, you know, I'm really great at creating insights. In fact, that's basically my number one talent. Like I am great, like I'm an insight machine. I look at something, I look at a person, and it just really comes together for me what their potential is, what that business potential is, what they can do differently. And so that turned into how can I marry those insights with one of the things that's most important in the world, which is financial wealth and financial independence. And those two things together is what really led me to understanding that venture capital is where I should be. It's also what led me to understand that even though I'm in a much different financial position, even though I have the ability to call people I never thought I could call and they would actually answer and help me out and give me advice or support me, all that matters is I'm still that kid from Mississippi who, you know, family was dirt poor, who had person after person after person who looked out for me, who cared about me, who told me I could do more. And now I get to be that person for so many other people. And so I am here today, despite all the odds, because there's a lot of people who told me I could when I couldn't even tell myself that. And now I get to do that for other people. Hi folks. If you like what you heard today, feel free to like, subscribe, or click the notification bell and you get my content every single solitary day.